In today's episode, we'll be introducing the nuclear energy supply. We'll also be kicking off a hot new discount weekend and reviewing the finals of the recent clan tournament in esports. It's time to choose the next player to get the new Paladin Hull. Hello tankers! Let's start with the cool new supply in the game. Yes, that's right. There's a new supply in the game, and it's called Nuclear Energy. It instantly recharges your overdrive, and has exactly the same effect as the respective bonus box. Now you can get the supply into your garage and use it anytime you want. Greet your enemies with that sweet element of surprise. You cannot buy it, and you do not need to open Ultra Containers to get them. The only way to get this special supply regularly is to complete challenges. We may use this supply as a prize in special events, as an item in special offers, or even give small amounts away in the future. By the way, the first challenge of October has just started, and both the silver and gold tiers have been updated. Furthermore, we also have made Battle Pass cheaper, slashing the price down to just 700 tank coins. The final reward in each tier will be a few units of the nuclear energy supply, one in the silver tier and three in the gold one. In one of the previous episodes of the Vlog, we mentioned that we would like to replace the prizes and challenges, because the old ones no longer suit both you and us. Why have we decided to choose these prizes? First, they should be cheaper than before to make the challenge itself cheaper. Second, these should be countable items so we can add some to both tiers. It doesn't have to be exclusive to the gold tier. Third and final reason, there shouldn't be any limit on the number of units a player can have in the garage. Looking at all the points we mentioned, supplies check all the boxes. The next question is, what kind of supply should it be? Should it be changing the way other supplies work? No, we already have drones doing this job. Should it be a completely new effect? Not the best idea, as this supply would have to be activated when you press 8 or 9 on your keyboard for a completely new effect, which would make it difficult for players to adjust to. So the new supply should use the existing effects in the game. We have decided on charging up the overdrive, the nuclear supply box. Using this supply too often would break the game balance. Thus, this supply should be rare. That's how we decided how often you should get units of this supply, and how many you receive each time. We hope that it will remind you of the times 10 years ago, where players had so few supplies that it was only possible to turn the tides of battle once per month. Want to know more about this change and the new supply? Ask your questions and leave us your feedback in the comments, and we will respond in the next episode of the Vlog. Important information. Starting from this one, every weekend, and in Tanky Online, a weekend is Friday, Saturday and Sunday. The battle duration will always be 15 minutes. Our past experiments have shown that this is the most convenient time for players on weekends. We came to such conclusions when we analyzed completely different match durations. We will continue to try to find the most convenient time for you to play on weekdays. Next week, the battle duration during weekday battles will be 15 minutes, and this battle time experiment will last till October 7th. The first Friday of October will delight you with a long-awaited discount weekend, so jump into the shop and garage and get to upgrading and speeding up your turrets and hulls. The discount dates are on the screen. Festive decorations, double experience and battle funds, as well as ultra containers with cool stuff like the Crisis Drone and the Paladin Hall await. Two special offers at a discount will be available in the shop, and five special missions, as well as one super mission, will let you upgrade your garage. Don't miss your opportunity. Make sure to treat yourself to some goodies. Let's move on to the Blitz Q&A section. Will you make drones in HD quality too? The drones look cool enough, but if you think they're not, then we will work on it. What features are you planning on adding to Tank Online in 2022? For example, will you consider finishing all the HD and XT skins? Yes, we are planning to complete the collection of the HD skins and… and something else. Do you plan to make two appearances of health for players to choose in the settings? For the new interface, we have now agreed that there need to be two versions of the interface. In the first one, most interface elements, including the health and recharge bars, will be placed in the center of the screen. 
The second one will have the interface items be placed throughout the whole screen, making it easier for players to understand. When are you going to start either locking players into games or penalizing them crystals for leaving early stacking the teams? We are against limiting players' option to leave battles. In our experience, punishment for such behavior still doesn't encourage them to stay. Maybe a bonus for not leaving a few battles in a row will work better. Can we make shaders graphic enhancers for the game? The current graphics aren't enough for content creators like us. We will tell you more about graphics in the next episode of the Vlog. The third season of the Tanky Sport 2021 has finished. While the final match wasn't as close as previous ones, esports fans will remember this season for a long time. Team Pointers are the only old team who made it to the playoffs. The remaining three places were taken by new clans that unfortunately did not manage to win. However, in the group stage, everything wasn't so clear. The veteran team, Team Pointers, lost three matches, and one of them was against Bulls, who they met again in the Grand Finals. Congratulations to Team Pointers! It's their first win this year. Let's see who will win the final season of this year. While teams were fighting on the battlefield, their fans were competing for tank ones. Let's be honest, we didn't even expect such results. And you have once again managed to surprise us. For the duration of the playoffs, we held the Tanky Fund event. The rules were pretty simple. You buy a special offer and wait for the giveaway results. This time, the fund of the giveaway exceeded 10 million tank ones. Watch the results of the giveaway on our Russian YouTube channel. The link is in the description. While the top teams will be enjoying a month without matches, you have the perfect opportunity to dip your toes into the realm of esports. We've opened registration for two tournaments. TOF Trio for teams consisting of three to four players, being ready to fight with any equipment, as well as the Masters of the Sword tournament for tandems of railgun aficionados. Hurry and sign up to take part, because clans are closely monitoring the results of these battles in search of new faces for their teams. Who knows, maybe in a month it'll be you, who will not only become the owner of the unique Gladiator paint, and will get hundreds of thousands of crystals, tank ones, premium pass and containers, but also will join the roster of one of the top teams. So what are you waiting for? Register now! All the links are in the description. Welcome back to YouTuber Digest, the weekly collection of the best TO videos. Are you as good at playing with Tesla as Jordan Tanky is? Watch his videos and compare your skills. Now have a look at this recently published cool parkour montage video by the Flying Parkourists. And make sure you check it out. Link in the description below. Are you a fan of the hammer turret? Yes? No? Either way, watch Taspens ranking every hammer augment in the game. Don't forget to let him know in the comments about which one you prefer. Now hammer has a total of 11 alterations for the turret, so I think my list should hopefully narrow down which alteration you're going to end up spending your money on, but without further ado, let's get straight into the list. If you wish to be featured in a future episode of the vlog like these cool content creators, then make sure to enter your best video in the YouTuber wannabe form. The link is in the description. Last time, you had to guess how many tanks Paladin would heal completely while using its overdrive. The correct answer was C. Congratulations to the winners! And here's the next question. That's all for this week. 
we have hidden parts of a special code in the VLOG. To win Paladin, simply find the code and send it via the special form in the description. Next Friday, we will find out who the best Sherlocks are, and they will be rewarded with the new Paladin Hull. Before you go, make sure to smash the like button, subscribe, and leave a comment for us to read below. See you in exactly one week. Bye!